this is the final day of the 2013 Battle of Malta. Today, we crown a champion. Over the first three days of the Battle of Malta, we slashed an enormous field of 888 players down to just 24. A long line of players had already been paid and everyone still left in had their sights set squarely on the trophy, the title, and the 80,000 euro first place prize. As the hours passed, players from around the world fell one by one, including the biggest name still left in, Yuka Dudson. The most experienced player of the infamous Finnish stunt crew, the Dudesons, got his day started by ordering a tray of 20 beers and he rode that wave all the way to a 17th place finish. I gotta start from the beginning. First of all, I've enjoyed here in Malta, it's been such a great blast. Rock and roll lifestyle, great parties, going out cliff jumping, wakeboarding, sunshine, girls, you know, great parties and, and good poker. So and I, I made it all the way in the end. Nobody expected that, not even me. So, uh, so it was a good times. Uh, fortunately today I busted out. I had a bad beat first and then uh, after that, I kind of, kind of couldn't get my head straight again because I kind of have a hard time focusing. So, so after that I had to make some moves to get my stack a little bigger and just lost it all. I think the other players can actually focus on the game more now that I'm not hassling around and, and trying. But I like it because it's a fun social game and I like to have fun with the table and where are you from and what's going on and all that. And, you know, it was fun while it lasted. This tournament's breakneck pace didn't let up for a second and just a few levels later, we had our final table. Headlining the final nine in terms of experience was another Finn, Lowry Pessinen. Right now, Pesinen is second on the Global Poker Index for Finland, and he said that although he's always driven to win, coming to the Battle of Malta was about more than just poker. Uh, I used to live in Malta for a year, back in 2009, and I think going to pretty much every tournament they have here in Malta, so it's been holiday for me. I have my girlfriend with me here, so it's combined with holiday and just having fun with friends. Pessinen ended up going out in fifth, and just a few eliminations later, it came down to Germany's Louis Cartarius and Malta's Conrad Abella. After just a few skirmishes, Abella found himself all in with Ace Jack against Ace Queen. A Jack hit the flop, but a Queen on the turn ended it all. Cartarius was officially named the 2013 Battle of Malta champion, earning himself the biggest payday of his career. Thank you everyone for joining us and making this such an enormous success. On behalf of Poker Listings and all of our online partners, I would like to congratulate the 2013 champion of the Battle of Malta, Louis Cartarius. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Louis is the second ever champion here at the Battle of Malta. Talk to me about what it means to have a trophy and a title. Yeah, it's good. I mean, it's my biggest life score so far, and it's my uh, biggest tournament cash as well. So, yeah, what can I say? I'm glad, of course. This tournament, I think, prides itself on not just being about you know serious poker, but also a lot of fun. There was a little rumor that you might have almost fallen asleep at the end of the day yesterday. What was that about? Yeah, it was. Um, we've been partying at uh, Friday night until like eight in the morning. <laughs> so I even got a bit late to the uh, day two and almost planned it out. But yeah. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seemed to work out for you. Going forward, you have uh, more tournaments on the horizon, and will you come back to the Battle of Malta? Yeah, I mean, I guess I have to come back now, <laughs> but <laughs> I would, I would anyways. Um, yeah, it's been a nice trip as well. Malta is really great. So, Louis, talk to me about your uh, your poker background and where you're from. Um, I'm from Germany, from Frankfurt, 
and uh, yeah, my poker background is like I play poker since 2009, and uh, my main game now is heads up, sit and go hyper tubers. That's what I play most. And yeah, but uh, uh, I'm starting to play a bit more live tournaments now, and after that, again, <laughs> <laughs> I guess even more. This seems like a pretty good sign to continue playing live yeah, tournaments. It definitely <laughs> caught my interest, yeah. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you. All right, big congratulations on behalf of Poker Listings. 80,000 euro. Spend it wisely. Yeah. Welcome back next year. The second ever Poker Listings Battle of Malta is in the books, and all we can do is think about how we're going to make next year's event even better.